Look at that there. I got a nice shade spot. Found some spot. Parked my Jeep in the shade almost. Got a lot of orders. Today on The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Dealer here with the Crazy Picker Life. Thursday edition, reflection edition. Oh, man, I found some shade. In certain parts of the day I can get some shade right here. Otherwise, it's in the afternoon it gets to be pretty slim pickings for shade. Tomorrow we're going to go 30 degrees colder and we're going to get down in the 70s. But I think that's going to be storms all day. Or wind or something. We're not going to get that for free. So if you pick well, oh, we're going to go through here. If you pick well and you list often, you're going to get orders. And so all day long and sometimes at night, I'm trying to pick away and get my orders packed. And today is no different. I'm positioning myself so I can do some listing tonight. So other than normal stuff, non-camera stuff, non-on-camera stuff, I'm getting ready to list, so let's list. Listing number one is complete truck and trailer set from AMT. I don't know how far this goes back, but they didn't even have dates or barcodes on it. I think it's uh, fairly early 1970s. It was tape shot. I talked to the lady at the thrift store. She said, oh boy, it's complete. So I opened it up and the first sign that there's something wrong is there was cement in there you know the model cement i'm like okay somebody opened something and then the second sign is there's 15 tires and three axles should be 18 and five axles you can count them here two four five axles 18 wheeler everything else seems to be uh packaged and not messed with the Always look for the uh, sheet with with the decals, although I'm going to have to look now because I see that there's something that says racing tires and a few other things on there. I'm going to have to see if I've got all the decals. Everything else seems to be there. The instructions are there. The box is poor. So uh, what would have been 50, 50, maybe 60 plus shipping, I think is going to be $24.99 or uh, $29.99 somebody doesn't care if the tires are missing they'll figure it out and they'll get it at at that type of a money because everything else is new listing one well a little update on the pricing on this uh, none are listed right now three or four sold on eBay it's gonna be in demand uh, you can get the tires and the axles pretty easy so one in comparable condition missing a few parts like that and uh, sold for $49.99 plus shipping. So I'm going to list it for $50 plus shipping. So that's better. All right, listing number two, another model I got. The first one I got and this one were $8.50 plus tax. Can't seem to get them to accept my reseller's ID here, but my, a lot of things I do. Uh, F86 Saber by Hazagawa. It's all sealed in there. I was worried because I opened it up and there were uh, glue, glue in there and some other things, but all the parts are sealed in one bag. And the sticker sheet's good and instructions are good. So this again will be uh, probably $54.99 plus shipping. I'll start at that and that'll be good. Listing two. Boy, our, uh, our local market is pretty hot. I put this uh, Schwinn, <laughs> Wheelers thinks I'm talking to him. I put this Schwinn uh, Airdyne up and I know these go for pretty good money in a larger market. I didn't think they would go that great. In our smaller market, the uh, speedometer cable's broken like I mentioned. $100 coming to pick it up tomorrow night, so I'm sure they'll be happy with it. It's in good shape. I paid $25, $30, $35, I think I paid $30. Um, this is item three. It's a dorm fridge plus, I would call it. It's got a nice little freezer. You know, it's got good size there. It's a Kenmore. 
so it's a decent uh, it's a decent fridge 50 bucks locally we don't need it anymore I have the big one we have a good big size one at home and then we have the big one in the office that's going to go downstairs so we don't really need this little one haven't used it in a while used to use it third item 50 bucks okay Garrett metal detectors is going to be my number four I'm going to make a lot here uh, I got this like deep sea unit and then this is some sort of underwater thing it doesn't look used too much the headphones don't look used at all uh, this one I got to you know work and everything seems all right I'm not an expert on it this other one the the little meter uh, finger doesn't go back and forth but it does seem to detect so I am going to sell these all in one lot I paid I believe $130, something like that, and this will be listed for $400 plus shipping, so that's a good flip. That's a local buy. Number five, high-tech video game Merlin from 1978. Uh, Parker Brothers. Put in my six batteries. It seems to work. $29.99 plus shipping. Item six is this partial tin toy plane with propeller wheels wind up key some of the mechanism rear wheel obviously missing the wings I cannot find any identifying marks on it which help when looking it up here's what I know about tin toys and airplanes in particular there we go <laughs> so out of all the tin toys out there, airplanes seem to be the one that was beat to crap the most. People tried to fly them. The kids tried to fly them. They're like, okay, it winds up and it rolls, but let's fly this thing. And so there are tin toys, airplanes, that go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars. <clears throat> this is not one of them in this condition I have no idea what it is there's one indicator you know it's got this weird probably can't see it it's got this weird brick pattern there's a there's a lever that does something there um, I'm not going to spend any time on this somebody that is super into this will be looking for this if it is anything special I paid a couple bucks for it I'm going to list it for 30 plus shipping and we'll just let it run. But planes are cool. If you see them, uh, you know, they're reproducing everything these days. So you got to be careful. But if you find a Japan made or authentic tin toy plane for 10, 20, 30 bucks, pick that thing up uh, in most cases or at least look it up. Because I've, I've bought a couple, I've bought and sold a couple. <clears throat> tin toy planes I've sold them for as much as three hundred dollars and you just don't find them very often for for cheap you'll see them at the antique store and you'll see them occasionally different places for pretty much okay number seven who doesn't like vintage VW bugs that grew up with uh, you know rally racing Herbie movies. Oh my goodness, right? So there's better ones. This one is one that turns and spins and does all that kind of stuff. The battery box on this one is rusted. Somebody left something in there. But the look of this thing is rally racing. It's cool. Who the heck wouldn't like to have that on their shelf? You know what I mean? So I paid 12 bucks. Uh, new in box one is listed for 220. One with a similar battery box is listed for 60. Something like that. I paid 12. I think I mentioned that. This one's in good condition except for the battery box. I'm going to list it for 50 plus shipping and see what we can do. I guess a couple other things to mention on this. This is an original tin toy. This is not modern this is probably 80s 70s 
Tao, T A Y, no, T A I Y O, Japan made. So, you know, this you can find some of this kind of stuff that's modern, plastic, whatever. This is tin toy, so this is a real deal. Number eight, I think, is an old bazooka base tube speaker. I don't know, this one's vintage. I can't even really find it. So it's 75 watts. I'm going to list it as it is. Uh, $39.99 plus shipping. That's all I can take. I can't take no more. <laughs> 725, eight listings. <sighs> I don't mind listing, but there's a point in the evening when I've got other things to do and I just have to stop. 725 8 listings, that's good. So I need to order a home video entertainment thing, system, whatever. Uh, Sony is our TV, so I'm going to get a Sony 5.1 with speakers. I've got like 10% off eBay bucks, 15 per $15 off. Whoop! All my missing memory charters under my suitcase just sitting there, of course. So there you go. Let's find missing stuff when you clean your office. Wheeler is under some sort of a super office cleaning. I've already emptied this once. I told him, man, this thing weighs like 99 pounds. Stop trying to rip my garbage bags. How's it going? Ah, uh, taking everything off the floor. I'm going to vacuum and let me get stuff back. About what it takes. Hmm. About where I'm at. About done. So this is sort of between the old listings and the new listings. What do you mean? Yeah. As well as, uh, of course, the reality of us moving out of here is coming true. Yep. Okay. Pretty much. So tomorrow should be a new day. Yeah. That's the deal. Okay. I hear you got your transcript and your uh, certificate of graduation. Oh yeah. Right. And your and your tassel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tassel. When, when you're homeschooled, uh, the the old uh, tassel tassel for your graduation helmet. Yeah. It's not quite the same, is it? Yeah, so. Yeah. No, you got to rent it. Oh, that's the deal. Okay, so that when sense. so when I graduated, I, I had 660 people in my class, and so you lined up alphabetical with your gown and your hat yeah, and, see that. and your tassel. Yeah. How many people in your graduating class here at home? Zero. That's me. Zero. One. One. <laughs> it's me, man. I graduated. Woo. So you have to walk up on the podium and cross the microphone. Wheeler graduated 2017. Sorry, it's not the same. I know. I don't know how to explain it to you. I've seen it. Seen the video. We have a we have a whole different experience here at the homeschool. I graduated with a class of 660. <laughs> oh, what am I doing over here? It's not the same. You know, I, you can't explain it to your kid who graduates homeschool. <sighs> There's pros and cons. Many pros. Okay. Eight listings. I don't know what Wheeler's got listed. I don't think he's got a lot listed today. One item, $120. We're not going to make it. We're trying to? Well, every day we're trying to. What do, what, do, what do you mean, are we trying to? We didn't... We blew our contest. We didn't win our prize, but yeah. every day we're trying to hit a thousand. I see. Yesterday we hit fifteen hundred. The day before, fifteen hundred. Today, <laughs> dealer puts up eight listings, seven twenty-five. Yeah. Wheeler cleans his office. Uh, when you're in America, United States of America, you're just trying to make your way. Do what you got to do. <laughs> Never, ever, ever, ever. 25 years ago. 25 years ago, I would have been 24 years old. 
graduating from college, somewhere in there. Never would have imagined. Never would have imagined. So, if you're young, if you're in your 20s or 30s, you're you just you don't know where you're going to end up. If you're a picker, there'll always be work. Just stay tuned to the inputs, where you get your stuff, and the outputs, where you sell your stuff. You're a middle man, you're a middle person. Always be a middle person, there'll always be there'll always be something. But you got to talk to people and you got to take risks. Not sure why I did that. <laughs> There's our curriculum. So our place that we buy curriculum, they're they're afraid that you're going to sell it and they're going to lose out. So every semester I have to send it back. There it is. I have to send it back. Okay, uh, tomorrow's Friday. I don't know. I'm thinking of topic day. I don't know. I don't know if Lon is going to ask me out to eat. I don't know if we're going to um, Atwood, Kansas in the Jeep. It's going to be cooler tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to go Saturday. Saturday's probably better. Lon watches this. My wife watches this. I'm programming you. I think it's her turn to ask me out. <laughs> anyway, maybe topic day tomorrow, Friday. I don't know. Got some topics. I know a lot of people like topic day. I'm not sure why. All I do is just... <coughs> mouth vomit. <laughs> Pick well list often. Dealer out! <laughs> hey, Wheeler! Dealer Production! <laughs>